Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I'm doing a post canning chat and we're gonna see if I had a, if I had success or failure in my canning of the navy beans. That was the last canning session that I did for you. And I wanted to always bring you back and kind of give you a rundown of what happened because every canning session is a little bit different. I just got done washing my jars and labeling them and I label them uh, navy beans with the month and year that I canned them. So these, all the jars sealed. I checked them before I go to bed, so they'd sat on the counter about four hours, I guess, and I was able to check and make sure that they were okay before I went to sleep. And if not, I would have put them in the fridge. And so you've got plenty of liquid in there. Um, if you wanted more liquid, you could put less beans in there, but this, the headspace is really perfect. All the beans are covered. None of them are gonna be dried out. Um, so we ended up with a really nice headspace. Your beans will continue because they aren't fully cooked when you put them in here. But see all that starchy liquid? You can use that to thicken up soups, stews, make refried beans with white beans. You can make burgers with these. You can do all kinds of things. But four jars came through one more time and now I've officially used a hundred lids with four jars. So. Um, I'm, I'm excited to say that it's been such a great journey using them and I'm, I, I will keep them in my pantry stock always. And so there's a link down below, you guys, if you need lids and this is, this holds a hundred lids. So it's not like it's going to take up a lot of space. Um, you will, you won't be sorry. You'll, uh, get a 10% discount if you use Linda's pantry in the coupon code. All one word, no apostrophe. All right. So I say yes, this was a, a, a good canning session. And what it did, what it, 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 it inspired me because for a, let's say a large pot of chili, I might use three of these or t at least two and a can of black beans. You know what I mean? Or a can of kidney beans, a jar of kidney beans and um, some black beans. And so like a three bean chili. So it inspired me to do another canning session of beans and I'm going to do um, three different kinds of beans in that canner load. I'm gonna get the big canner out and I'm going to do kidney beans, which are one of my very favorites, uh, black beans and some more navy beans. I, I feel like navy beans really hold up for everything and you can use them in like Italian wedding soup. You can use them anywhere you would use a white bean. They're creamy and buttery, oh, so so good. And they hold their texture. They don't fall apart, they don't get mushy, they're just very tender, um, which is what you want when you when you have beans that you've canned. So I'll be soaking um, more beans overnight so I can get that done and get those pantry shelves socked um, for winter. I, I'm, I will, that will give me enough beans to get me through the winter months and, um, probably well into next spring and fall or spring and summer. So that's the plan. But yes, this was a total success. All, all of the jars have that really good headspace. And any of the jars that are a little bit drier than the, like this one probably is the most or has the least amount of liquid in it. I'll probably use that one first. Um, but like this one, I think this one had a few less beans in it and it's really got a, a nice amount. It's perfect. It's just perfect. So that's how I do it. I'll put this one that's a little bit drier. It's still got a lot of liquid in there and everything is moving around, but I, I'll probably use that one first out of the seven that I can. And I use my small canner. So um, that link is down below in my Amazon store. So I hope that this inspires you to can some beans. I priced beans today. I went to the store today and um, the store that I went to, a, a 15 ounce can of white beans, Northern white beans or just a white bean was $1.69 for 15 ounces. I know there's 15 ounces in here. This is a pint jar. I know there's 15 ounces in here at least. And it, it cost me pennies. I did this whole load plus a pot of soup. So two pounds of beans will do nine jars, um, nine pint jars. 
so that and that's just white beans every bean's going to be a little bit different but white beans or the navy beans that is what it is um if you used northern white beans you're going to end up well you would use way less beans because they swell up really big and they do get a little mushy and fall apart these don't so these are one of they're in my top three favorites um okay i'm going to put these on the shelf i'm going to bring you back for another canning session and as always guys i'm going to wish you the very best it's fall it's the, the leaves are starting to change a little bit shades of uh, not color yet but the the shades are changing and it's crisp in the morning and um it's just fantastic so i can't wait i hope that this inspires you to get those pantry shelves stocked for winter so you don't have to go traipsing out to the store when it's not nice weather all right we'll see you next time success yay bye